in this video, video 10, we're going to put everything together. We're going to have a problem and from it we're going to design an input-output table from which we're going to construct the Boolean expression and from there we're going to create a circuit to solve a problem. So in this example we have this light switch problem. We're in a classroom um, with that's controlled by two switches. There's a switch at the back of the room, let's call this B, and there's a switch at the front of the room, F, and flipping either switch changes the lights. So here's the light, I'll call it L. So if both switches, if, if we're in this situation where B is down and F is up, and now we flip F down, if the lights were on, they're now going to turn off. If they were off, they're going to turn on. So it's going to change the state of the light bulb. Assume the lights have been installed so that when both switches are in the down position, the lights are off. Down position. When both switches are in the down position, the lights are off. That's actually going to be really important to how we start our circuit. We want to design a circuit to control the switches. So again, why don't you pause the video and see if you can figure this out. You're first going to construct an input-output table, and from that a Boolean expression, and from that a circuit. Okay, so we know that if we flip either switch, the lights change. And when they're both in the down position, um, when both switches are in the down position, the lights are off. So just as we did on the previous slide, I'm going to call the switch at the front of the room F, the switch at the back of the room B, and the variable representing the lights is L. And our first step is to do this input-output table. And we're going to need to use this fact that when both switches are in the down position, the lights are off. Well, what row on our input-output table has both switches in the down position? This last row, right? So when both switches are off, the lights are going to be off. From this, we can now figure out the rest. We can say, okay, here both lights were off and we flipped one of them, the back one. So that's going to change the light state and the light's going to go on. Now, Starting again, I'm, I'm ignoring this row that we just finished. Let's ignore that. So I'm back in my position where both lights are off. And we go to this state situation where we flip just the front light on. And so one thing has changed, so the lights are going to go on again. Clean that up. There we go. And now, to get to this top row, we can't start from the bottom row anymore. We have to start from one of these inner rolls. And we can go there from either of them, right? Either one. From the second row, we're going to flip the, the B switch, the back switch. Or if we're starting in this third row, we're going to flip the front switch. So either way, we do one thing, and in both of these examples, we are starting with the lights on. So if we do one thing, the lights go off. So in a previous video, we saw a circuit that we called an XOR circuit, and that's really what's going on here. This is an XOR circuit. But I'm going to ignore that, and instead let's figure out the Boolean expression. So as in the previous video, we have two rows with an output of one. So my job is now to put those value, figure out the equation for each of those ro uh, rows and put them together into disjunctive normal form. So this first row, 
we're going to have is going to be true if f is true and b is false or off. We're going to say the expression works if that is true or if this next row is true, which is when f is off. So undo. So we're going to have f is off and b is on. Right. So here's a Boolean expression that goes with this input-output table. And finally, we need to create a circuit for this. So I'm going to go back. We want F and not B or not F and B. So we have F and not B or not F and B. And now we want to build a circuit. So we have two inputs, F and B. And I'm going to do this first part, which is F and not B. So B is going to need to be negated. And we have an AND. that. And I want to do the second part of the equation. And we're going to have uh, not f and a b. So we need another and down here. And we have the b and not f. And then finally, we are oaring these together. Oh, that's a funky looking or. There we go. So what we've just done is looked at a problem of how to hook up light switches in a classroom, calculated how the design should work, which is this input-output table. How do we want for the in, given the inputs for the output to work? converted that into a Boolean expression, and then taken that and designed a circuit for it. And I think that is just remarkable, because this is all math, right? Everything we're doing here is using Boolean algebra, and relatively simple Boolean algebra at that. And from that, we can create solutions to real-world problems, and I think that is just wonderful and remarkable.